The family of the 17-year-old girl shot in Ma'ili says the girl is showing more signs of improvement. Manolo Morales follows up. The family of Richiana de Guzman couldn't hold their excitement as they shared the news. Her mother says the girl first started opening her eyes Thursday night. I just got word that she is blinking her eyes, there is movement in her eyes, and there's movement in her fingers. She says they saw even more signs of improvement Friday morning. So now she has a strong flex, so she bringing her hand like up. That. So it's not outwards, yeah? Now it's upwards, which is a good thing, plus her fingers. The family calls it a miracle. They've been told that Richiana could be brain dead, but they no longer believe that that's the case. The family says doctors plan to do more brain scans and are optimistic. The family has been camping out across the street from the hospital. They say their faith and support for each other can ultimately help Richiana recover. My daughter will awaken and she will touch a lot of souls. She's going to be a walking testimony. You watch. Saturday's shooting was the second incident of gun violence in West Oahu involving teens in recent months. A lawmaker for the area is pushing for more police presence and calling on city officials to finish construction of the Waianae Police Station. Because as we see, the crime has increased in terms of gun violence on our community's coastline, and that's something that we all should be alarmed about. Gates says he will work with city officials to fund the project. For Richiana's family, the focus remains on her recovery. They commend the police for the job they've done and are calling on the community to look out for each other. We got to stop the hatred. We got to stop the violence. We got to stop the fighting. We got to come together. It's us as parents. It's us as the community, yeah? We got to show love. We got to show love. We got to teach our babies love so they can go out and teach other people about love. HPD says the shooting suspect remains on the loose. Manola Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.